Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Gilroy Ween and welcome to our Saks Live here in gorgeous Aspen, Colorado. I'm the founder and creative director of Atlas Fine and I'm here to talk to you about our pieces that you can find exclusively at Saks. So, a little bit about me. I've been in this business for 15 years and it started a long time ago, right after I had graduated from college. Instead of going the normal route and getting a job, I took six months and did my own little eat, pray, love. That was inspired by Elizabeth Gilbert. She had that book back in like, what, 2008, where everyone wanted to go explore the world and take some time off. So I did. I ended up in Italy, where I ate tons of pasta, got um, into Indonesia, where I was scrounging through every flea market, and then I found myself in India. And in India, I found a family there that literally, I just was walking into a shop one day, bought a piece as a gift, and with $5,000 to my name, I was so impressed by this guy's work, with $5,000 to my name, I ended up convincing him to give me $100,000 of merchandise. Somehow I got it back to the States and I immediately sold out. And I realized to myself, like, okay, there's a business here and this is something that I love to do. So with a large check in hand, I marched myself back to India, went back to that family's jeweler's bench and convinced him to teach me the business. Literally just sat down in front of him and said, teach me everything you know. <laughs> and so, so for seven years, I ended up going back and forth to India, sitting at this guy's jeweler's bench and learning about the business. I learned about gemstones, manufacturing, design, and selling. I ended up learning so much from that family and I still work with them to this day. And what ended up happening is I brought his pieces back and I would sell his pieces exclusively to a wide network of private clients. And luckily with my experience working in magazines, it gained steam and I had celebrities that were calling asking to buy pieces because that's what I was interested in and that was to me the highest form of flattery. And then I started working with a lot of um, high profile individuals. So what they loved about me is that they could get exclusive attention where they didn't have to walk into a shop, they could call me directly and we would sit down and find out what was missing in their jewelry box and how we could add to it. So slowly over time, as I was getting to know the business, I started designing pieces for these people. And when that happened, that's when I realized how much I love designing and wanted to start my own line. So for eight years under a different brand name, I sold um, my own designs to a wide array of individuals and also a bunch of retailers. Fast forward during COVID, I kind of looked at myself and I was like, what am I doing with my life? How am I gonna find meaning in what I'm doing? So I took a little bit of time off and I also had three young kids at the time, three kids under two to be exact. So, you know, that took a lot of energy. But I took that time and really asked myself like, okay, how am I gonna make this meaningful? Do I love doing jewelry? How do I make this more my story? And less about um, a family that had taught me the business and more about what I stood for. So what it ended up happening is Atlas Fine was born. That was during the year, like what, was it two years we were in COVID, one year, like something like that. Um, I took some time to really think about what I loved about jewelry and came up with the brand name Atlas Fine. And Atlas stands for two things. Atlas means um, we get our gemstones all around the globe. So when you look at our jewelry here, you're gonna see, see stones from um, Tanzania to Brazil to Arizona. Um, so that's where Atlas comes from. And then also from my favorite book, Atlas Shrugged by Anne Rand. Because uh, at this point I had moved from New York to Aspen, Colorado. And to me, Aspen is this idyllic town, much like what the Atlas Shrugged main character, John Galt, describes in his book. This mountain Colorado town full of creators and individuals who um, really wanted to be valued for their work and what they put into society. And that's what I found was missing beforehand, and that's what I wanted to bring to Atlas Fine. So with Atlas Fine, we totally changed our ethos, and we decided, okay, we're going to start using recycled gold, fair trade gold. We're going to make sure that all of our stones are ethically sourced, and we also wanted to find ways to like reduce our carbon footprint. So we started donating to charities that were giving back and helping clean up this planet a little bit. So there you have it, Atlas Fine. Now that you know my backstory, let's get on to the jewels. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna start over here in this corner. We, I have a special place in my heart for emeralds. Emeralds are one of my favorite gemstones. 
and I love to find ways to um, incorporate it, incorporate it into everyday pieces. So um, what we have, we have some emerald pieces live on the SAC site, and we have a beautiful emerald necklace that is little teardrops that you can wear by itself or wear with other pieces. Here we did like a massive stack of emeralds. When I love wearing emeralds, which is a May birthstone coming up. Um, and we like putting like little chain pieces with maybe a thicker gold piece, yellow gold. And then you could layer it with a basic diamond tennis necklace or um, just keep on stacking it in green. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we also have some gorgeous emerald bangles that I'm really excited to debut. And to me, like I know we're coming into spring summer, but to me, jewelry needs to be seasonless. Like I could sit here and give you a story about like, oh, we're really into butterflies right now, but no, that's not us. We're all about the gemstones and ways that you can wear it day to night, over and over, pass it down to your, your children and your grandchildren one day. Jewelry is meant to be worn and this jewelry is meant to be worn. We don't want you putting this away in your safe or putting it in a safety deposit box and pulling it out for you know a rainy day occasion or anniversary. We want you wearing this stuff all the time. Jewelry is meant to be worn. Um, so here we have like a bunch of our gold, diamond, and emerald bangles. And what I love about these pieces is that, well, I'm wearing my, my, my favorite emerald bracelet, but you can stack this in. Like you can put it on with some either hard or soft bangles. I think you can mix your soft bracelets with hard bracelets. I think it makes for a really cool stack. Like I could just keep adding and adding for days because I, uh, more is more to a jeweler. So you can always have a lot of fun with the pieces that you're wearing. And I'm just going to put these on, tags and all, and, you know, let it let's still look good. Okay, that one's not snapping because I'm pushing it in. And another thing to keep in mind when you're going for your bracelets is you want to do hard and soft combined. And then when you're like this bangle here has like an open hole design and it looks really good next to like a lined piece. So that way you're not stacking the same thing over and over again. And um, they look great. I mean, I'm sure you have like a lot of women do the Cartier love bracelets, add that in. I'm a big, and I am also a big fan of mixing metals. You can do yellow gold, you can do white gold. It's a good combo. My only thing is, is I would not mix Rose and yellow, I think you need to pick, pick which one of those two colors you're gonna wear. Um, all right, let's talk about earrings. We have these gorgeous Peruvian opal earrings and a very similar pair that is online for you to shop. I love opals. To me, they contain so much mysticism and power and I love the backstory. So back, I believe, in the early 1900s, Queen Victoria, was obsessed with opals and she decided that she wanted to collect like all the best opals in the kingdom. So she had her, her minions or her staff spread this rumor that they were bad luck. So what happened is, is like there was this max I said it's in London for everyone to just get rid of their, their opals. They would just dump them. And she and her, her handmaids would buy them up and she would set them in diamonds and everyone would be like, but wait, these are bad luck. And she's like, aha, but not one set with another stone around them. So for a while there was like, she was wearing these amazing stone pieces and she was the only one. So for me, that's what I love about opals. Um, there's, they come in a lot of different colorways. We have some beautiful Australian opals on the site. They're one of a kind because that's the thing with opals. They're going to show their fire and brilliance differently in every single pair of stones. So it'd be, it's really nice to walk away with a one-of-a-kind piece that nobody else can buy. Um, I think that we also have a gorgeous selection of like rainbow pieces. But um, to me, rainbow is great for summertime, spring and summer, pull it into fall. And here we showed it stacked with um, some blue Kyanite, or sorry, some blue sapphires, some pink sapphires, and then you can layer it in with different rainbow pieces. So rainbows don't have to be worn alone. You could do it with um, a variety of, of stones. I think rainbows can be worn with emeralds for the fall, or they can be worn with turquoise in the summer. I think that these pieces can be really versatile. 
And we also show this in Array of Bangles. Um, we have like this rainbow sapphire bracelet here, but something that you can consider is like, okay, if I have a blue piece, pair it with a pink one, pair it with an outfit that looks good. You can kind of create your own rainbow stack with the pieces that you already have. Mix and match metals again can be a really fun way to wear it. And um, I, really, I really don't think you can go wrong. I think rainbow's having a moment right now. Um, let's see what we have here. We did this gorgeous like rainbow pair of earrings, which is also a sunny way to um, brighten up an outfit. I think that rainbow can also go with like a white t-shirt and jeans. You could, you could wear it with like a, a really nice black dress if you wanted to do that for evening. And um, let's see what else we have. We also feature some one-of-a-kind charms with some Italian chains that we, we get from this amazing guy in Italy. These are chains are lightweight, they're hollow, so you get this look of um, something substantial but at a very good price. Um, for me, it's always important to like have a good quality item. And um, for us, when you shop with us, when you shop with us on Saks, you're getting a really high quality piece at a very competitive price. That's important to us. We want every one of our clients to feel like they're walking away with, with like something they can feel really good about, both on their bodies and in their wallets. So we've done here, um, you can see we have some of our gold chains mixed with like this little kind of it, similar, it's to like the Tiffany's chain link, but we took our own spin on it. And then we paired it with like a, like a, our version of like a white diamond tennis necklace. This makes it a little bit more modern. This one's very lightweight and um, easy to wear. Let's see. And then let's see, I can take you over to some of our more, more rainbow pieces. Loving this look. I think that this is something that you can stack with like a chain and then you can layer it with something a little bit longer. I think that you're going to see a lot of longer chains that are gonna come in style and people are gonna wear them solo over like a high neck white tee or like me today, I wanted to show off my necklaces so I've got a little bit of a lower V going on. People will start stacking them like this and you're gonna see a lot of it this summer and it's a really fun way to, to wear something. Um, okay, so I am also going to take you over to our turquoise. Turquoise has long been one of my favorite stones, and that's, I went to college um, at SMU in Dallas, Texas, where you're going to see uh, people at the rodeo with like a traditional squash blossom, um, and then you just kind of develop this love for turquoise. Texas is like a huge place that people are wearing turquoise. So I, I don't really wear the squash blossom as much as, as much as I love that look. Um, it wasn't really me. So we decided to design some of our turquoise pieces that did like a little bit more of a refined look, but also playful and fun. To me, turquoise doesn't have to be so serious. Like there, there's a lot of ways to wear it. I'm modeling one of our turquoise earrings. We did this earring with like turquoise, baguette diamonds, and then also with like opals at the top. So I think opals is a really, like our blue opals is a really fun to mix with turquoise. It kind of livens up the look and um, it takes a different spin on it. It makes it different than what someone else has. So feel free to like play with your blues, which is what I think we did here. We have like our simple sleeping cabochon, sleeping beauty turquoise necklace. And I'm showing it here with like a blue sapphire necklace. And both of these are in yellow gold, but you'll see right below it, just like a three prong white diamond tennis necklace. Again, I'm like a big fan of mixing metals, white and yellow gold, it looks great. On, on every one almost, I would say. If you, if you don't like yellow gold, I get it, go to Rose, but we're big fans of yellow. Um, and then we did one of our Lariat necklaces, which we've done a lot of. And this piece right here is detachable. So this is like something that you can wear in the summertime. You know, if you're like on the beach and you want to put some jewelry on with your swimsuit, maybe you're not so much swimming as you are uh, lounging. And then, you know, you can remove this lariat piece and let it drop and sit like this. And you have something more simple that you could wear solo or with other, other gold necklaces. 
the lariat makes it fun. And I think optionality is important for jewelry because again, you don't want it sitting in a safe. You want it to be something that you can wear over and over again. Then um, another thing we like to do are cocktail rings. On the site, you can find probably one of my favorite cocktail rings to date. It's a pink spinel with these gorgeous like rose cut stones around it. Do a cocktail ring. Like it is so much fun to have something that's gonna be a statement and that nobody else is, is gonna be wearing. Like right now you're gonna see, you're seeing a lot of like the gold and diamond thin stackable rings. Like I think now that we're getting out of COVID, people are moving away from like their gold and diamond pieces and wanting to like liven things up with color. And cocktail wings are a way, great way to do it. Um, this one right here is an Australian opal. Big fan of those, as I keep telling you, whether bad luck or not. Um, and this one, it's got a beautiful diamond border and then surrounded again by blue sapphires. I think that um, blue sapphires and opals, as I said earlier, and even with turquoise, it's a good combo. One thing you do need to know about opals is that it is a softer stone. So it is important, ladies, and gentlemen to take care of your jewelry. And when wearing opals, just be aware that this is not something you can go play tennis in or something you can like, I don't know, have an arm wrestling match if that's your thing. So um, that's one of our favorite ways um, to do opals is with the blue sapphires. I can show you this other cocktail ring. And actually I'm gonna show you the one that I'm wearing that Sometimes when I make pieces, I love them so much, I keep them for myself. And that's what I did with this black onyx one. But it's like a very Art Deco design. And I personally love the Art Deco movement. I draw a lot of inspiration from it. Um, it's very comfortable and easy to wear. Jewelry's gotta feel good when you wear it. You don't wanna be like um, feeling like you're lugging something around or having it get caught on a sweater. Um, so that's what I love about this rig. Um, tanzanite, I think tanzanite is a really cool colorway that maybe um, you don't see as much. Like personally, it's I love tanzanite, but it has a little bit of that shade of purple. And I think women, some, like traditionally, don't want to wear purple as much. But as you see, like it looks great with black. I love like this black and rhodium over the white gold. Purple and black is like a really good combo. It's a great way to make a subtle statement and um, brighten things up in your outfit. So we did like a cabbage on tanzanite with some faceted ones around it. Diamonds we put in almost every single one of our pieces because it adds that little bit of sparkle and that's a lot of fun. Let me see. We also have, come up this one, turquoise. Again, I keep coming back to it, but turquoise also looks great with black. Like you might think it's more of just a summer stone. It's not, especially if you like make your way down to Texas, you'll see women wearing turquoise year round. And it's such a unique bright color that it looks great on blondes and brunettes. And I have yet to see a skin tone that it doesn't work with. So we like to pair um, turquoise with yellow gold, but it's also very elegant and white. Um, this one has like a center blue sapphire and again the blues and turquoise make for a really nice touch. And one thing that is on the site that we you're going to see a lot more from us this fall and we're previewing it as um, one piece that we have on the site right now are our geode earrings in white gold. What I love about geodes is that every pair is unique just like opals. And it's, it's a neutral. Neutrals are great too. I know I've been talking a lot about rainbows and turquoise, but neutrals are fantastic. I like wearing um, like a geode earring. You don't need to wear some, like the long ones that are on the site. You don't need to wear a ton of jewelry on your neck with it. You could wear a higher low neck, hair up, hair down, and put on those gorgeous pair of earrings. We have a pair here that we did in yellow gold. Um, again, I keep talking about how yellow gold looks really good um, with blue stones and with turquoise. That's what we did for this pair. When you have a darker pair of geodes, like the blue and red ones that are on the site, 
I prefer to put those in white gold. It brightens them up. It'll look great on dark hair or on blonde or even a gorgeous redhead. Um, I can't say enough about geodes. Like I think we, uh, we work, we partner with an amazing mine. We like they're ethically sourced and they're well-priced and really fun with diamonds around them. So you'll be seeing a lot of that from us um, as we go into the fall and we're previewing a little bit for spring. You can wear a good dark um, geode earring, maybe pair it with like a camel top or a white top. That kind of brings it into like a spring summer neutral and then you can pull it into the fall with more of your navies and your black, black clothing. Um, let's see over here. Oh, I have to talk about this ring. This ring is just amazing. I'm gonna take off this black one that I've just kept for myself and show you this mother of pearl ring. <laughs> this one's really great. So this again is inspired from the Art Deco movement. And what we've done is taken mother of pearl inlay and put this into the ring and we've done like a Colombian emerald in the middle. Really cool piece. Again, like emeralds, it's gone. We're this is definitely like a summer, it can be worn summer, spring, fall, winter, because it's got this beautiful white, yellow, gold, and emerald combination that I think can play into almost any season. This is a ring that you can wear um, during the day, maybe if, you're, if you have somewhere to go during lunch, um, or it could also be worn like solo by itself um, at night. I, I also feel like when you want to make more of a statement with your jewelry, Pick one kacha ring, pick one focal point to put on your hand. That's gonna draw attention to it. It's going to elevate your look. It makes it more fancy. So if you're going to something black tie or cocktail or a wedding, pick one great piece that you can put on your hand and know that it's gonna draw attention. Sometimes when you um, clutter it with other pieces, it makes less of a statement. So I'm a big fan of picking one for nighttime if, you, if you're going somewhere fancy. Here we've done emerald with a Peruvian opal. Really nice, gorgeous look. I put this with my like baguette diamond ring, but I think if you take it off, it, it makes it like more elevated and more fancy. Um, I do think that cocktail rings are making a statement, making a comeback. They're a lot of fun to wear. Um, and I again, we talked about doing emeralds in with the mother of pearl we talked about it with the yellow gold and here with the opal it's just another way to like mix your metals mix your stones find a way to make it unique for yourself and that's what we're hoping to really do on sax live is show you different ways to wear your pieces that you can shop with us at sax and mix it in with what you already have like we're i think it'd be silly to think that oh you're only going to wear atlas fine jewelry like i'm sure you have other pieces that you're like, okay, how am I gonna wear this? How am I gonna make it different? And what we wanna do is offer you these unique pieces that you can mix in with what you already have. Now, let's see, we've talked about all of our white gold pieces here. Our pendants we have not offered online, but I know that they have a beautiful selection. And also if you ever make your way to Aspen, like come visit us. We have an amazing showroom where we love to give people like individual attention and help you add to your wardrobe and do custom pieces. Um, I would have to say that we're starting to do more white gold. We've just done like a couple of the cocktail rings. I'm gonna put this one on, definitely more fancy. But if you were watching the Oscars last week, you saw a lot of white gold. And um, really elevated chokers and cool pieces. So I think you're gonna see it a lot. And I think that's something that everyone should be thinking about. Like, okay, here's the next trend coming. We've gotten out of COVID. Yellow, gold, and diamonds have had a moment. Continue to like continue to wear those pieces. We sell a lot of yellow, gold, and diamond, but we're pulling back in colored stones. We're starting to set them in white gold. Um, I think you're gonna see it. You're gonna see a lot of that. Um, so here we've done like, two cool white gold rings with diamonds. Um, on the site, we have some like Australian opal with um, like, I think it's a pink garnet that's on the site with baguette diamonds and those are set in white gold. 
Um, white gold is something that you, you will be able to wear um, really with anything. That's like kind of the beauty of it. But when you pair it with a colored stone, it lets the colored stone take the lead. And that's kind of how, like if you're wearing an Australian opal, you might want to do it with like a, a baby blue outfit and the white gold really accents it and makes it nice. Let's take this one back. Let's see. Um, I want to point out our some more of our Sleeping Beauty turquoise in this bangle. I am a big fan of turquoise. I think it's almost it, like right behind, opals are my favorite and then turquoise is like right up there with it. I think wearing it with um, other yellow, gold and diamond pieces makes it really fun. And you know, it, it's important if you're gonna wear a colored stone and you wanna make it more casual, like a simple yellow gold bangle whether from us or maybe you have a Cartier love bracelet or something that you found at a flea market, like mix and match. Like I don't think jewelry is, is precious, but it shouldn't be worn preciously. Like, can we say that word? I don't think that's a word, but you should like wear your jewelry. It's meant to be enjoyed. And what better way to do that than to, or like what better way to like pass something down to your daughter if you don't have a story to like tell with it. Like it's nice to be able to say like, oh, I wore this here or, this person gave it to me. Jewelry makes a great gift. I think that that's, that's um, a way to someone's heart for sure, or, or like a huge way to say thank you. So gifting is like a, and one of my favorite things to do is to work with a client and do like a custom item that we're gonna gift to someone special to them. So, you know, it's fun to wear your pieces, wear them a lot. And I think if you, if you don't have like a yellow gold bangle, with diamonds, I think that's a great place to start. And then you can slowly add your other pieces to it, um, but that's what I love most about jewelry. <laughs> so I think that we have talked a lot about all these different pieces. Um, what we're hoping that we can bring different to you as like a Saks customer is unique pieces. And I hope that I've shown you a lot of different ways to wear what you have and how that we can add to your collection. Um, it's been such a pleasure to get to speak with you about what I love, which is jewelry, and how each piece can be unique for you. And um, we hope that if you make it to Aspen, Colorado, that you will come visit us. Thanks.